Hi, how are you all? This is Dr. Nandi, the math guru. Today I'm going to talk about volume by shell method of integration. So I'll share my screen with you. Volume, the shell method. Use the shell method and evaluate the integral that gives the volume of the solid generated by revolving the plane region uh, about the y-axis. So we are revolving about the y-axis. Y equal to x square is the graph, okay? There is the curve going up and y is zero is the x-axis and the other limit is x is equal to, uh, sorry, y equal to zero is the x-axis and x equal to three is the vertical line drawn at x is equal to three. And the curve is y equal to x square. So we are going to find out the volume okay, of the sh by shell method and evaluate the integral that gives the volume of this solid generated by revolving the plane region about the y-axis. So we are rotating about the y-axis, which is x equal to zero, remember that. So volume by the shell method is given as two pi. Limits of integration are between a, b, a and b, p, x, times hx dx when we rotate about the vertical axis. Now in this case, px is equal to x, okay? px is equal to x, okay? And that means uh, it's a vertical line. And h of x is the x square, is the curve going up starting from zero, okay? So when we substitute px and hx in the, Inside the integration, limits of integration are from a is zero, b is three, and x is px, hx is the curve, which is x square. So we have volume equal to two pi, zero to three, limits of integration, x times x squared is x cubed dx. So volume is two pi, x four over four, from zero to three, limits of integration, okay? so. 2 pi for x, we are substituting the higher limits, which is 3, 3 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 0 to the power of 4 divided by 4, which is 0 for the lower limit of integration. So eventually we have volume equal to 2 pi, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So we have two pi 81 divided by four, okay? Which the two in the numerator cancels with four in the denominator to give us 81 pi divided by two as the volume of the solid, okay? By the shell method. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you have learned something new, please uh, like this video and also please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. And see you next time and I'll come back with a new problem and a new solution. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.